goal is to evaluate sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta without a calculator for theta is 45 degrees. And we're going to use right triangles to do this. So let's draw a right triangle. And we're going to draw a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So there's your right angle. That's 45 degrees. That's 45 degrees. And we'll call this side 1 because the angles are equal, the sides are equal, the legs are equal. And now we have to figure out what this side is. Well, that's the hypotenuse. And we know that Pythagorean theorem says leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Okay, so the leg here is 1 squared. The other leg is also 1 squared. That means it's equal to hypotenuse squared. Well, that's 2. 2 is hypotenuse squared. We take square roots of both sides, and that means the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 2. So back in our original figure, this side is square root of 2. That's very nice. Now let's find sine of 45 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees, and tangent of 45 degrees. If we recall, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this case, pick a 45 degree angle, say this one. The opposite is going to be 1, and the hypotenuse is 1 over square root of 2. Or rather, opposite is 1, the hypotenuse is square root of 2. Some teachers don't like to have square root of 2 in the denominator, so if we multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2, which is just 1, what we have is 1 times square root of 2, square root of 2, and then the square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4, which is ultimately 2. So that's sine of 45 degrees. If we want to find cosine of 45 degrees, this should be 45 degrees, we're going to have adjacent side over the length of the side of the hypotenuse. Well, if we take this 45 degree angle here, the adjacent side is equal to 1, the hypotenuse is square root of 2, so this is 1 over square root of 2, which is exactly the same as sine of 45 degrees, and that's square root of 2 over 2, because we do the exact same thing as before. Tangent of 45 degrees is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And for this 45 degree angle, that's going to be 1 over 1, which is, of course, 1. So here we have sine, cosine, and tangent of 45 degrees. They're exact values, and we did it all using only a right triangle.